What's up? This is the Jamaican Barbie, and I just did an interview with Tony. I want to thank him so much for reaching out to me for this interview and being interested in my page and my craft. Um, for anybody else, I would suggest you do an interview, too. You could learn some stuff even about yourself that you didn't know. And it's just pure positive vibes and energy. A, A, A. Supposed to be able to express themselves. For just real. Like <laughs> For real. I don't care. I'm gonna let guys you. Guys can rap about pussy popping and all this, but girls can't pop the pussy. Make it make sense. Period. <laughs> I play too much. I don't know how to dance like that. I know. I hope it go good tomorrow. I'm hella scared. I'm hella scared. This shit better go good tomorrow. <laughs> all right so today i have the real jamaican barbie from los angeles california um she's currently residing in georgia um so before we start i would like to tell miss barbie thank you so much for coming on my show and i would also like to tell miss remy davis um thank you as well because without her i wouldn't have met you so yeah um, Miss Barbie, I want to tell you thank you for coming on my show, and can you please introduce yourself? Um, my name is Hyacinth. I'm from California. Um, I've been in Georgia for about six years now, but I moved in a lot of different places. Um, I like to sing, dance, rap, write, poetry, music, etc. I'm into fashion a lot, hair, partying, drinking smoking i'm just a fun person so yeah i'm good to be around i'm a vibe yes ma'am yes ma'am um how long have you been an artist um i've been working on music ever since forever i would say um i actually came to atlanta and that's when i started actually going in the studio but before then i was still you know singing and stuff like that at a very very young age like Music just speak to the soul. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, my next question for you is how long have you been a model? Um, I just came to Atlanta and that's when I first started, you know, taking professional pictures. But I've always been like, you know, obsessed with taking pictures of myself <laughs> since a young age too. For real, um, where did the real Jamaican Barbie name come from? I came up with it because I'm Jamaican, and then Nicki Minaj is like my idol, um, and like I like the Barbie looking thing, you know, because I'm really, really girly. I like all these colors, and you know, into fashion. So I just called myself the real Jamaican Barbie. Oh. And Nicki Minaj, like my daughter's picture. For real. That's facts. I seen that too. That was like, oh my God. I cried. <laughs> For real. <clears throat> I cried. Like, that lady inspires me so much. That's cool. That's cool. Um, If nobody has ever heard of Nicki Minaj, what are three songs that you recommend by them? her picture <laughs> um it's so many nikki songs are you really asking me that for real that hard white hit different that hard white she came out with like two years ago it hit different but i like like moment for life 
Super Bass, um, Creepy Crush. It's a whole bunch of them because she be talking her shit. And best believe I know all them lyrics. All them lyrics. <laughs> for sure, for sure. All right, so, Miss Barbie, my first question for you is what motivates you every day? My children motivates me. Like, without them, my life would be like nothing. People say, like, having kids make things harder, but really, it motivates you to go harder. Try that. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, my next question for you is, what's your definition of happiness? My definition of happiness would be not stressing about anything and just waking up, putting yourself in your own positive vibration, no matter what's going on around you, and making sure that you look forward to things that's positive. That's how you stay happy, and happiness means, you know, just being around who you love and who you really care for and who respects you and give you that same love back. That's happiness to me. And no drama. Absolutely. Absolutely. My next question for you is, what are your five proudest accomplishments? Uh, one would be my children. Two would be being on my own for so long since I was 18 and never going back home. Um, you know, I own my first house at 18. I bought my first car at 18. Whatever happened to make me not really have it now doesn't matter. I'm not going to stress myself about it. But it's still something I'm proud of my, myself for doing because I see celebrities out here that just bought their first house. And it's like they've been touching money forever, for years. And they just now buying their house. So I'm proud of something like that. Um, what else I'm proud of? I'm proud of just venturing out and finding everything on my own. Like when I started my business, you know, I didn't have nobody giving me any pointers. I don't, nobody around me owns their own business. So I taught myself how to get an LLC, how to decorate my own site, how to even get the products. So that's something I consider an accomplishment as well. Um, also, it would be my modeling and my studio stuff. I consider that accomplishment, too. You know, just me working hard every day to try to make something for myself and make a name for myself. I consider it accomplishment. Number four. I don't know. I mean, I pretty much named out everything. Because I feel like I still have a lot to do and work on. So I'm going to just leave number four blank. And we'll fill that spot in as time goes on, cause I got a lot of goals. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Um, <clears throat> my next question for you is, what's your okay? Um, who does your hair? Me. No. Yeah, I do my hair. What? What you think? I have somebody come over here and do this? Yeah. <laughs> no, I do my own hair. It might not be perfect, but. but I try my best with everything I do, you know? Females so quick to point out the next female flaw, but just notice that I actually do this on my own. I'm not playing a thousand dollars for a stylist and, and all of that. I'm doing everything on my own. Plus having three kids, I got to dress every day and all that. Like, I'm doing all this on my own. Right, so you be fresh and your kids be fresh too. That's cool. Yep. All right, so um, who colored your hair? What color is it? Uh, who colored it? Huh? Who colored it? Um, a lot of my wigs and stuff I buy already colored, but sometimes I might get bored and recolor it or color a blonde one. I actually colored this one. When I got it, this part right here was like a really, really light blue. It was not picking up. When I ordered this shit, I was so mad. Like, it did not look like the picture. And the bottom was, like, a very lighter green. So it was not picking up. It was so light. I don't know if I could try to pull some pieces for you to see. But it was just very light. Dang, that's real light. 
it was like no it was lighter than that what so i just added a darker blue on top and a darker green on top and i was able to go get that look i wanted because i was going for like a like a tropical typhoon type of look you feel me so. for sure hey you did that <clears throat> that's cool um my next question for you is what's your five favorite movies oh okay i love poetic justice for one i fucking love love don't cost the thing for number two um for number three i guess i could say bring it on one of those any one of those series um you said four or five five Take your time. If you got four, that's that's cool. If you only got three, that's cool. Number four. Mm, like a boy's in the hood. Number five, Players Club. You know, I like all those type of movies, you know? The movies, and them movies be straight out of Cali where I'm from. Most of them movies be filmed right in the hood up in Cali. For real. Mm-hmm. So it hit different for me. Straight up. I like the wood too. <laughs> I like the wood too. <laughs> For real. Hell yeah. All right. So, my next question for you is: Would you rather go to the mountains or to the desert? Um, I probably would like to go to the mountains. Maybe so I can see some snow. Even though I'm afraid of heights, but that would be kind of fun. I lived in the desert for like fucking how long? Like seven years? Like in Las Vegas? I don't need to see any more desert. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's be fucking invading Area Fifty One. <laughs> straight up, straight up. Um, my next question for you is: Okay, would you rather be stranded in the middle of the desert or stranded on the island? I would rather be stranded. I'm going to say on a desert. Because, okay, I might have, like, fruits and water and be pretty and stuff. But I would rather a desert because, like, I'm still on the same land as everybody else. So I could probably eventually walk and find my way out. But an island, like, you on an island, you got to be on some SOS shit and hope somebody see you. Like, no, I'm doing a desert. <laughs> Facts. That's smart. <laughs> For real. Um, yeah, I stopped playing in the water. All right, so, Miss Barbie, my next question for you is, if you could eat, if you had to eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Some Jamaican food. Like curry, curry shrimp or curry goat, something like that. That, or I could do like a burger or tacos or, you know, something like that. Because them are things that I eat a lot of. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. My next question for you is, whenever you... <clears throat> Alright, so who are your favorite actors or actr actresses? I love me some Angela Bass and I ain't even gonna cat. Um, who else do I like? I love some Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, who else? Uh, who else? Take your, Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. I'd be liking, like, me alone. Um, who else? Oh, I love me some fucking, um, uh, uh, Terrence Howard. He always know that part. Like, he be mean as hell, but... He nailed that part. Like, you'll hate him in real life. <laughs> for real. But that's all I'm a name for now, because I don't want to do too much. When a lot of these people connected to, you know, that P-Gate shit. I don't know what that, that is. Gate, you want to call it. So I'm not going to do too much on fangirling over these actors and actresses, but I'll keep it brief. I like those people. For sure. For sure. I don't know what P-Gating is, though. But yeah, 
I don't know what that is. We could talk about it off uh, camera. <laughs> For sure. Next it. question. It's okay. It's okay. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Because um, a lot of YouTubers get kicked off when they talk about it, for one. And then for two, a lot of them commit suicide when they get to talking about it. They be killing them people for knowing too much information. Oh, damn. See? Uh -huh. I don't want none of that, bro. I'm cool. Mm -hmm. I'm not them, though. That's it. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Um, would you rather go to Hawaii or Alaska? Hawaii off tops. Would you rather go to Canada or England? Um, England. I would love to go to England because I like their style and stuff. And it seemed like they got some cool snacks and stuff. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Would you rather go to Africa or Jamaica? Jamaica. I would like to go to Africa too, like the motherland, but I'm gonna always choose Jamaica over anything. Yes, ma'am. I did. Jamaica all the time. <laughs> For real. Um, well, do you have any shout outs that you would like to make to your friends or to your family? Um, I want to give a shout out to Remy. For you know, referring me for the interview, she always supported me, and that's one thing I could respect about her. Like, even though she an artist too, and all that, she don't think of shit like a competition. Like, she always trying to make sure other people eat. So, I want to give a shout out to her. Um, a shout out to my sisters. They know who they are. I don't gotta say anything. It makes them feel special. No, I'm playing. <laughs> a shout out to my babies. And a big shout out to everybody that supports me because it's free to support. And people act like they they can't take time out of their day to give a little support. So shout out to whoever want to show me some support. You feel me? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. All right. So, Miss Barbie. My next question for you is for the people who never heard or never seen you no fuck I'm redo it and I fucked up. <clears throat> Alright, so Miss Barbie, my next question for you is for the people who don't know who you are, can you explain your YouTube, your Instagram channel? Um, my Instagram is really just to express myself, you know. Sometimes I might post memes and stuff to make people laugh because I like making people laugh. And then I got a lot of pictures of me and, you know, sexy outfits or even outfits that I go run errands in. It's just to express my personality through the way I dress. So I wear a lot of colors and stuff, you know. So it's basically just like a reflection of me and things that I create in my mind. But the visual actually coming to life. So that's basically what my Instagram is like. For real, for real. That's cool. Um, My next question for you is, what is your definition of a leader? My definition of a leader is somebody everybody should look at and want to be like. And a leader is somebody that can lead you to greatness, basically. And I would say a leader is somebody that's independent and confident, knows what they want, knows what they're headed towards, and nothing or nobody's opinion can stop that. Like, they're ten toes down for what they believe in. That's what a leader is to me. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. My next question for you is, would you rather win the lottery or have the perfect job? I would rather win the lottery because, and it has to be a large winning, but I would rather win the lottery because I can just put that money away, save it, and then work some job. But if I was to work the perfect job, yeah, it could be perfect for me, but ain't no telling whenever they'll be like, I'm tired of her, I want to let her go. So I would never depend on a job. Maybe a perfect career, but a perfect job. I would choose the lottery over that. I want my money fast. <laughs> For 
real. Um, if you could go back in time in any year, what what year would it be? Like 2014, 2014, 13-ish, like, like, you know, them jerking days, everything was so pure then, and so like, you know, everybody was naturally they self, they was dancing and stuff, now it's just like everybody's superficial, fake, living off social media, trying to alter their bodies, and it's to natural. So I would like to go back to the time like that because stuff was a little bit more real. Absolutely. I agree. I agree. All right. So, Miss Barbie, my next question for you is, who are five people that you would like to be stranded on the island with? Um, Nicki Minaj, Nicki the Ninja, Nicki the Harajuku, Nicki the Barbie, and <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We could just be stranded on the island making hot videos of ourselves. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> for real. Um, my next question for you is, what were, okay, what were your five favorite gifts that you received in your life? Gifts? Um, I consider my kids a gift, but, um, what have I got missing? I don't know. I don't know, really. I don't know how to answer that, because when people give me gifts, I don't really, <laughs> I don't really, like, track. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> so, I don't know. But any gift I get, I'm appreciative of, and it holds something special in my heart, but I just don't really remember right now. Yes, ma'am. Um, what is something that you wanted for Christmas that you didn't get to get yet? I don't want nothing for Christmas. I don't, when Christmas comes around, I don't really expect anything from anyone as an adult. Like, I just don't expect anything. When Christmas comes, I look forward to giving everybody a gift. And it's not some corny, oh, it's better to give than to receive because everybody like gifts. But I just don't expect it, you know? It's really for the kids to me. And I like making others happy. Like, not even just kids. Like, I like helping the adults and stuff in my family. Like, that's my time to make them feel special and get them a gift. Like, if they help me with this or that all year or whenever I call them out the blue, Christmas is, like, my time to make it up to them. So I'm not looking for anything on Christmas. I'm looking to give. <laughs> Absolutely. That's a great answer. That's a great answer. Um, what are some things this past Christmas that you did get that you wasn't expecting? Um, I didn't get anything for Christmas, but um, my mom surprised me. Um, recently, she moved away and she moved to Miami, which she said whenever I can, I could take a trip there. And she's like living on a fucking like like a lake and it's like yachts and shit and when she look out her balcony she see the water like it's so nice so recently she moved there and i just been missing her so much like and on christmas they surprised me like she facetimed me and she like moved her camera a little bit and then she moved it and was standing next to my grandmother so i was like wait how are you next to my grandmother? And then that, that's my grandma's house. Wait, I see her Christmas tree in the background. And they surprised me if she was out here. Like, that was a Christmas gift to me. So I would say that was a gift. Oh, that's cool. That's a great yeah. gift. Yeah, what? She came out here and met her grandbaby for the first time. That's cool, Martin man. She already, you know, of course she met my other kids, but she met her grandbaby. Right. <laughs> For real, she looks just like her mama. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Um. All right. So, Miss Barbie, my next question for you is: Would you rather have unlimited shoes or unlimited clothes? I would rather have unlimited shoes. Why? And I say that because shoes, 
you could have a certain amount of pairs and always throw on a specific one with any fit, you know? Yeah, but absolutely. clothes is just like, I would rather have an unlimited amount of clothes. Shoes I could work on later, even though I do got a good amount of shoes. But I still don't have certain colors. But yeah, clothes. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. If you could have three superpowers, what would they be? If I could have superpowers, it would probably be to transport to whatever place I want to at any time. And to read people's minds. I, I really want to know what certain people think. Like, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Who would... Who are some people's minds that you would like to read? Just people in public. Like, I want to know what they think of me. <laughs> like, stuff like that. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. My next question for you is, what's the longest you've been without sleeping? Probably 24 hours. Um... Did you like, okay, whenever you did, after those 24 hours are over, did you like fall asleep, like knocked out, or did you like actually like lay down and go to bed? I was knocked out probably. For real, that's, some, that's the best sleep for me. I feel like, well, when I'm so tired, I'm doing something, I might be on my phone, and then I just wake up and be like, dang, I was asleep the whole time. That's like mm -hmm. my best sleep. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, let me see. My next question for you is, <clears throat> if you could speak three languages, what would they be? Ooh, I want to speak Patois, even though I know a lot of it and I know how to switch it up if need to be. But I would wish I could speak Patois just by nature. Um, Spanish, of course, because it's a lot of Hispanics. And when I lived in Cali, it was a lot of Hispanics. I wish I could speak uh, Spanish. And um, that's pretty much all. That's pretty much all. I think Chinese probably would be too difficult. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. My last question for you is, what is your dream proposal? My dream proposal probably would be like on the beach or something like that. But any proposal to me would be a dream proposal because, you know, you know, women, we just want to be special to that one person and to just get married one day. So my dream proposal would be any proposal, really, as long as it's not like too ghetto. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Well, Miss The Real Jamaican Barbie. I want to tell you, thank you so much for coming on my show. Is there anything that I didn't ask you or anything that we didn't say that you uh, would like to say? No, that's everything. I want to thank you for having me on your show. You know, I really appreciate it. And I look forward to doing more interviews or, you know. Absolutely. I'm about to start my, I'm about, I'm about to, I'm making a movie right now. Um, while well, making two movies or well, documentaries and I would love for you to be a part of it. So yeah. I love that. For I real. Love that. <laughs> for real. Um thank you again, Miss Barbie, for coming on my show. You're welcome. All right. Um give me a second.